All right, so I got a question for y'all. How many times do you see Adidas ads on your feed? So I'm talking about whether you're browsing the net, using a free app or using social media. How many times do you see ads displayed for Adidas products? And the reason that I'm asking is because these brands, they use data in order to market to an audience that they feel like is most relevant to their products. And according to the data, Adidas believes that their typical customer is someone in their 20s who makes just under 100K a year. So if you're not seeing Adidas ads in your feed, it's probably due to the fact that you're broke. You're watching John Alexander TV. Salute to you for tuning in. Make sure you guys tap in on the like button. So don't feel offended if you're not in that category. J.A. is not in that demographic himself, but if you are, Salute to you, which according to the data, the typical US Adidas customer earns a mid to high average income of between 75 and $99,000. According to Start.io, a mobile marketing platform that helps partners serve relevant ads on their apps. So basically what these companies do is they collect your data based off a lot of the apps that you have on your smartphone. And then in turn, they sell this data to these Fortune 500 companies in order to serve ads that are relevant to their consumer base. So according to the data, Adidas' largest target market are adults between the ages of 20 and 29. Adidas' US customers also tend to visit company-operated stores three times a year on average. The average basket size is $60.89. According to this data, and we have Adidas as the number two largest sportswear brand light years behind nike although they are number two they're way way behind nike and based off of this data it's all public knowledge from smart.io so i found it very interesting why don't we have a look at nike's data and let's try to figure out why nike is light years ahead of Adidas. So according to Start.io, Nike achieved its legendary status through innovative product development and marketing tactics, emotion-based messaging, celebrity endorsements, and sports sponsorships. The brand also invests heavily in advertising. Since 2014, Nike Global ad spend has reached over three billion annually with 3.11 billion invested in advertising and promotions in 2021 alone. Adidas Group, one of Nike's toughest competitors, spent $688 million on US-based advertising in 2019. By comparison, Nike ad spend in the US that year was over double the amount, reaching nearly $1.5 billion. So we can clearly already start to see the divide and why Nike is just light years ahead of Adidas. It's really all about their marketing and storytelling. Rather than Adidas, they only target a small audience, which just is in that 20 age range. Nike, it seems as though they cover a much larger audience and they've embedded you know, themselves within the culture, within their sneaker telling and their historical moments in sneaker history. So Nike's demographics include a wide range of users aged roughly from 15 to 45 years by spanning the generations. Nike taps middle-aged consumers who have disposable income and developed its relationships with younger audiences to ensure future growth and build lifelong brand enthusiasts. So Nike is light years ahead of Adidas because they're spending more than double on advertising. They're tapping into emotion-based messaging. So for example, they're getting involved with social justice campaigns. Nike stood behind Colin Kaepernick with a Just Do It ad. These are the type of moments that leave long lasting lifetime impressions on a consumer base. So while Nike is endorsing movements in films like the movie Air, which is about to come out and really feed into the nostalgia of a lot of people that grew up in the late 80s and early 90s, and also, you know, tell some storytelling and present the Air Jordan models and the history of Nike to a whole new younger audience. So once again, they're tapping into that younger, younger demographic as well as feeding into the middle-aged demographic. While it seems as though Adidas plans is to just pump out more Sambas and gazelles, but once again, they're just tapping into their core audience of people in their 20s that make just under 100K a year. So if Adidas wants to come any closer to Nike, 
they really got to tap into the North American audience because right now it just seems like there's such a disconnect between Adidas and the general consumer in the sneaker culture. And we could put some of the blame on Yeezy due to the fact that Yeezy's target demographic probably appealed to the younger audience, the middle age, as well as the 20 through 29 year old audience as well. So ending the Yeezy partnership was definitely a major blow to the company, but I feel like Adidas is definitely gonna have to re-strategize and retool because that 20 to 29 demographic isn't gonna cut it just alone. They gotta tap in and you know have a wider audience in this North American presence. So let me know what you guys think about this down below. Do you fit into Adidas' target audience of being in your 20s, someone making just under 100K a year? Comment down below.